Jeff, we talked about this when we met first time in Mobify, but I also want to ask you here. So we know that there's a lot of immigrants coming here in Canada and a lot of them are searching for a job. And we all know that finding a job is a full-time role. And sometimes you get frustrated because you're not finding the ideal job that you're looking for. In your experience, what tips do you have for people to stay motivated while searching for a job? Ah, uh, that's, yeah, that's a challenging one. I had two stretches, both, I guess it was 2016, 2015, where I was uh, looking, looking for work for reasonably extended periods of time. I, th I think the first thing I would say is that, and this is for anybody looking for work, is it's going to take time. Like you don't find, typically you don't find a job in, you know, a week or two. Like this, it, it's a multi-month process. Um, I think as well, like that one of the hard things as well, as well for people to, to remember is that when I would have people sending me resumes for jobs, I, it was one of a whole bunch of things that I was doing. So for, for someone that is hiring, it's just, it is an important thing for them, but it's one of many things that they're doing. If someone's looking for work, especially if they're not working, it's like their most important thing. So it's kind of all consuming. So I think the biggest thing I, I found useful for me was just remembering that the reason someone may not be getting back to me for a week is that they might've been traveling or maybe had something else going on. So I think just understanding that people aren't maybe on a different time frame or have a different level of urgency is one thing. And then the other one is, you know, I did at different points, I was looking at, you know, would I look at um, roles outside of Vancouver and other places? And so the challenge is that I didn't have a network out there. So I think the big thing, you know, there's extra obstacles if you're new to the country. And so I think one of the big things is just get yourself out there. Like, you know, we met at an event, right? So that's, that's the sort of thing I would say to everyone, like just pick what sector you'd like to be in, pick the type of companies, reach out to the companies, try to get some coffee or, you know, go for a coffee with some of the employees, um, go to events where you think the right type of company is going to be at and just go meet some people. Like a lot of times you're going to find a better, more appropriate role for yourself. Um, if you go find it yourself, I mean, there are different, you can use recruiting firms, things like that. But again, if you're new to the city, that can be challenging. Um, and then the other thing that, that I think is, it has led to work for me, like I, I spent six years at one point at Crystal Decisions, then Business Objects, then SAP. One, one company kept kind of buying the other. And I started on a five-week contract. I wasn't working at the time. Um, I was looking for work. I got a five-week contract at a company and then that turned into a six-year career. So, you know, I, I think as well, it's just, Try to, find, try to find ways to get out and meet people. Try to find ways to just get doing something. And then coming back to the first one, you know, if you look at the amount of time, the, the priority that someone else has versus you, it's way more urgent for you. So the other thing to be careful of there, one is respect their time frame, and the other one is don't make it all-consuming. So I, used, I got into a rhythm where, like, in the morning, that was when I did all my career hunt stuff. So I went and found new things. I looked at what new things were posted. I followed up with people I'd already, you know, I talked to already or had emails out to or whatever and then I took the afternoon off so I made sure that I was also using that time for me because you know it's not often hopefully that we have periods of time where we're not working yeah that's a good tip Jeff I always tell to people like organize your day in the mornings as you mentioned apply for jobs afternoon go for a walk yep. meet someone do something not don't consume eight hours of your day uh, searching for a job or applying left and right because that you will get, <laughs> get crazy. You make, you make it crazy, yeah. <laughs> I need some rest and you need to go out and exercise, you know, yoga or whatever works for you. Not to, especially here in Vancouver, we have a beautiful weather during summertime. So go out, rest your mind and then come back uh, and continue your job search. So thank you for that, Jeff. And for the audience, if you have any other tips that you find useful to stay motivated while job searching, please again, leave it in the comment section and tune in next time for another question with Jeff.